So what's the date today? Um, today? 28th. Right, so it's the 28th. 29th? And you'll figure out tomorrow? No, it's 29th. It's the 29th. Right, today's 29th of September and um, the day, but well, I'm joined by Cool T, Hello. whose first ever solo album is out tomorrow. So, Hello. what's going on? What are we doing, Cool T? What are we doing? What are um, we doing? So, we are doing a little um, open mic tour. Um, I've decided to do it because that's where I kind of started from way back when. Um, I used to do like backing vocals for people and they help people perform. And I thought I'll give it a go myself. So it's just literally just going back to the old school. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. I think I've done, we've done four performances so far. I think people think I'm nuts, I'm thinking why am I here? Um, but I think sometimes you just need to just go back sometimes to move forward. Um, and this is me going back to kind of move myself forward. So we're going to have some fun. We are here. Where are we? We are at, where look, we're at? at Warren Street Tube yeah, Warren Station. Street. Okay, and Warren we Street. are at the Prince of Wales Feather. Prince of Wales Feather. And it's a nice traditional pub. Looks a bit like Christmas. Yeah, we're getting ready. So, what are your plans tomorrow? You're going to celebrate tomorrow. What so are you tomorrow do? we are going to be at Shepherd's Bush <laughs> um, at the Escape. Um, that's going to be a, a fun one because um, it's really popular apparently. And I managed to actually squeeze myself in. So the owner and the person that ran it kind of got me in. Um, I sent loads of messages to say, hello, let me in. Um, and we so, did actually so, meet him, didn't so we? So we did actually meet the owner and he was like, yeah, come down because he saw me perform at another place. So tomorrow we are going to celebrate down there. Um, they don't know it yet, <laughs> but I'm going to tell them. Um, so tomorrow is the day of the release. So tell me, you've been you've been doing four open mics so this far. week. What was the first one? Where did you go the first one? The first one, I can't even bloody remember. It will hit me. Um, was that the Finsbury Park? That was the Finsbury Park one. Right, and how did I, that go? Th that was really, that was, um, I think, you know when you perform, people just stare at you thinking, what's just happened? Um, <laughs> that was that was really cool, because um, this woman came running up to me and saying like, I couldn't believe what came out of your mouth, which was really sweet. Um, it's a woman from Ireland. Wasn't that the lady with the husband? Tell me about yes. the story. So, what happened? So, <laughs> so the lady, the lady comes rushing over. I said, and she said to me, I looked at my husband, I looked at you, and I looked at my husband, I looked at you, and like, I couldn't believe what was coming out my mouth. <laughs> I thought it was really sweet. And then she kind of remembered me from the M&A days. Um, so I said, to and her, how did that feel? Was that a bit? That, was she excited? I mean, she well, she was. She was actually pretty calm. So it was actually, it was actually really good. Um, and she was really sweet about it. So um, it was. It was a weird feeling because it felt like I was back there, but um, also a nice feeling because people appreciate the music that you've kind of written and produced, and that uh, is really nice. Okay, so that was open mic number one. That's number one. Then we move on we to open mic, mic night number, number two. two. And this is where I joined, and yeah. we went to Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush. What was it um, called? It was called the Cinecom. Cinecom. The Society, something. The Cindacoom Cindacoom Society. Society, something like that. Uh, what like happened that. there? What happened um, there? That was an interesting one. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a little. F they told us the story. We met this guy. Um, so we, so, so we. I had some little, little cards to give out to people. Um, so which I? So Angel Goddess. <laughs> I hand it to, hand to Angel Goddess. Off she um, goes. And she off she goes, and she hands it to the first two, two. The first two guys that are standing there. So she explains who I am, and there's this guy just loses the plot. He's only like, young, have in he's mind, like, he's not he's even like, born in the like night. 20, he's 27. Yeah. And he loses the plot, <laughs> like completely. And I'm standing there going, thinking I'm back in Emanate days, like doing on going on tour with Janet. And I was like, what the hell? And he was so excited. And, and, the, and the story goes, he was editing footage from the Emanate days for this um, massive show. Say that show. again. <laughs> Rewind. Uh, rewind. Say that so, again. <laughs> the reason why he got excited was he was editing some footage. Um, we did a show in Emanate. We did a show called the Biggest Music Festival, and, and Dinah Ross was in it, and all these big acts were on it. So we did the show, and he was actually editing this show um, at home. So the irony was he came down to this place and then saw me, and then thought, "What the hell?" <laughs> And he was just losing the plot. He was so overzealous. He, he was well. He, he, he's, he was an instant fan. Yeah, he was like, he was like, I honestly thought I was back there in the Emirates days. People screaming, but he was really sweet. Just really, really, really sweet guy. Um, so um, yeah, that was a, that was a brilliant night. We've now left the sicker sicker Cindercombe, Cindercombe society. society. We now have this. We're on day society. three. On day we three. end up we right. end up in Walthamstow in a place called the Crate. And what it is? What do you call them crates? <laughs> 
It's Witcher. Sorry. So it's, um, it's literally a place called the Crate, and it's like a massive, massive container. Crate. Didn't know what to expect um, as I do this little tour. Didn't know what to expect. Um, went up there, and it was like a massive people doing performances of poetry and rappers and stuff like that. So um, it was another one I kind of put on my little tour, and and they were. These guys were unbelievable. Some of the poetry that's coming out was just like seriously, seriously deep. It was incredible. Um, so we performed there. The reception was unbelievable. I was not expecting that. People were cheering and clapping. I was not expecting that whatsoever. So um, that was really, really nice. So now we are. And on now we are on day four. And we are and outside. We are out there. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? So, guys in the corner. If you could possibly just be a little bit quiet. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Honestly, I like the conversation, but please, if you could. Right, so, so, um, so I have some news. Um, I have my album release tomorrow. So I am doing the rounds of doing open mics because uh, this is kind of where I started. For those that don't know, I used to be in a band called Emanate and I kind of toured with Janet Jackson and did some number one stuff and did all that kind of stuff. But now I've kind of gone solo and I'm kind of showing people my work, if that makes sense. So, so the album's called Emotional Roller Coaster um, and it is kind of what it says, it goes from its highs to its lows. So I'm going to do one high and a couple of lows. So let's just do one high. Right, so this track is called A Deal. It is out on Spotify. It's probably the only one out on Spotify. Tell me what you like. Why are you Come on. You're in the club. Tell me how you feel. Let's pretend you're in the club, right? Amen. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you like. Come on. Add the people back there. Yeah. Tell me what you like. Yeah. This track will burn. It's another dark piece of one. Are you there, girl? Something for that. Holy water, strong armor, souls made it too much to you. Don't worry, I'm ready for your attack. Cause I'm gonna watch you burn. Turn to the evil inside of your soul. 